With this video, I want to introduce a new term into the American political lexicon. I mean, after all, progressives do it all the time. And that term that I want to introduce is progsplaining. And I need your help to do it. I need all my subscribers to share this with your friends and spread this out. We need to use the term progsplaining. Now, what am I talking about here? You probably have long been aware of the term mansplaining. If you weren't, you became aware of it after the vice presidential debate. Kamala Harris said something, Mike Pence said something in response, and the next day he was accused of mansplaining, paternalistic, talking down to a woman. Obviously, it's sexist, mansplaining. Now, the purpose of all that, using that term, which has been used for a long time now, isn't really to cast aspersions on somebody as a sexist. The real purpose is to silence people. It's to limit speech. It's to control speech. You know, if you contradict a woman or say something about this, you'll be accused of mansplaining. Now, who wants to be accused of mansplaining? Who wants to be accused of being basically a sexist? So you learn not to speak. A woman says something that's just wrong or you think is crazy, keep your mouth shut. Don't speak. They've controlled your speech through using language. That's how progressives operate. That's what the progressive movement is all about. Controlling people, silencing people, controlling the debate. And mansplaining is one way they do that. And you can see that this is what it's all about. They're not really worried about sexism. Because a couple of days after the vice presidential debate, what did we see? You saw Amy Coney Barrett going through her confirmation hearings, and we had Corey Spartacus Booker going after her. Did you see anybody on the left accuse Cory Booker of mansplaining? Anybody in the American media on the left talking about Cory Booker mansplaining? Of course not, because progressives can't mansplain. It's just like, you know, white people, only white people can be racist. Minorities can't be racist. Only white people can be racist. Only conservatives can mansplain. Only Republicans can be accused of mansplaining. Never progressives. The problem with for conservatives, if they were going to use that term, is that it doesn't really cover all the bases of a problem that we have here and what, what I want to talk about. Think back to the infamous statement of Joe Biden. Remember, he was on Charlemagne the God's podcast or radio show, whatever it is. Maybe it's both. I don't know. And what did he say? You know, if you don't vote for Biden, you ain't black. That's progsplaining. You know, he's basically informing Charlemagne the God and his probably mostly black audience, I would assume, how to think. If you don't support Joe Biden, you ain't black. If you don't support Biden, you better keep your mouth shut because we don't want you influencing anybody else. If we can't control your vote, at least we can limit the extent to which you might influence somebody to vote like you, God forbid, for Donald Trump. If you don't vote for Biden, you ain't black. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure Charlemagne the God just really appreciated seeing this old white dude telling him what it means to be black. Maybe, maybe that's why Charlemagne the God later came out and said, he, while he supports Kamala Harris, he doesn't support Joe Biden. Maybe that has something to do with it. We've just had another recent example. The other night, uh, Chelsea Handler was on, I think, the Fallon Show. Uh, really interesting video I saw it called attention to this to me by a black conservative, and I'll, I'll link to him uh, in the description box. It's a good video. But he's renamed Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Negro Handler. I, I really love that. Chelsea Negro Handler. And Chelsea Handler on national TV, I don't know what uh, Fallon's audience size is anymore, but I'm sure it's millions of people. This is white progressive woman sitting up there. And I think she used to have a relationship with uh, 50 Cent. And 50 Cent had come out and said he's going to vote for Donald Trump. I won't we'll go into the reasons for that, but, you know, obviously progressives are up in arms. Not just they're going to lose one vote, but, you know, what if other 
black people, what if all the black men start wondering, I wonder why 50 cents voting for Trump, you know? Maybe I should look into that. Well, they can't have that. So they need to silence him. They need to use Prague explaining on him. So what do we see? You watch her and she sits there and she says to the audience that what she needs to do, this white progressive woman needs to do, is to remind this rapper, this black male rapper, that he's a black male and that he needs to vote for Biden. Again, you have a white progressive proclaiming themselves as arbiters of blackness. You know, 50, do you really think this rapper wakes up in the morning and he goes to the bathroom, as many of us males do when we wake up, and he, you know, taped over the uh, commode is a sign that says, you know, don't forget today, you are a black man. I mean, I really don't think he ever wakes up and is unaware of the fact that he's an African-American. I mean, I don't wake up in the morning and, and to be confused about my, my ethnicity. Or, you know, am I an Italian-American or am I an Irish-American? I mean, it's just not the way people's minds work. We don't need to be reminded about these things. I, I at least don't. Maybe it's just me. Maybe African-Americans do need to be reminded by Chelsea Handler that they're African-Americans. Maybe they forget sometimes. I don't know. Uh, who knows? I mean, I, I, I can't speak for all African-Americans. They can speak for themselves and, and they can vote for themselves. We see this crap all the time. You know, a, a, a black person, usually seemingly lately it's been a black man, speaks out, says something unnecessarily supportive of Trump, but mildly favorable toward Trump. Oh, you know, Trump did a few things that helped black people. Oh, my God. You know, you need to be fired. You need to be silenced. That's all progs planning. Progs know better how you think than you do. That's their gig. That's what they're all about. Remember Ayanna Presley? We need black people to speak with a black voice, brown people with a brown voice, Muslims with a Muslim voice, gay people with a gay voice. Or I think she said queer people with a queer voice. You know, they don't, they put you in that little box in their identity program, identity political program. And they put you in there because they know everybody in this box thinks alike. We know how you think. We know what you need. We know what your interests are. I mean, why do you have in communist countries? I mean, what, what does socialist democracy mean in a socialist country? The people in North Korea is the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. How do they conceptualize democracy? Democracy is the people all think alike. So the idea is that the, the will, what was often called in the old days, the uh, uh, dictatorship of the proletariat, they don't need to have the people vote. They know what the people think. They know what the people want. They know what the people need. The intellectual class, the progressive class, know the answers to these things. And that's how they shape policy. In your name. They don't need to poll you because you all must think alike. Russian people must think alike. You know, if you don't support Lenin, you ain't Russian. I mean, if, if you don't support Kim Jong-un, you ain't Korean. I mean, that's what progressivism is all about. It goes back to socialism and Marxism and the idea of a dictatorship of the proletariat and socialist democracy. Socialist democracy isn't democracy. And that's what makes me nervous about people like uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders when they say they're Democrats. Are they Democrats in a Marxist sense? Because Marxist Democrats don't need elections. They know how you think. They know how the people think. That's true democracy. They just act in your name. They don't poll you. They don't ask you if you think alike. They assume you think alike. They know you think alike. And that's what we see with prog speak. Progs know how we all think. You're white, you're racist, you're black, you should vote for Joe Biden. It's that simple. That's prog splaining. There are plenty of other examples I could give. You may have your own examples. Leave them in a comment. But what I want to do is, as I said earlier, use this video to try to get people to start using the term prog-splaining or maybe proggy-splaining. Which do you like better?
Let me know in a comment. We can have a little poll here. Yeah. Non-socialist democracy. I won't assume what you think. You tell me which term you like better. Do you like prog, prog explaining or prog explaining? I went back and forth on which one I would use in this video. So I think that's a good idea. I'll just ask you which one do you want to go with, and we should go with that. And you can check back and see what the results were. Got something out of this video? It's got you thinking? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Share the video with your friends. Like I said, let's get this out there. Let's see if we can get people using the term prog-splaining. Not mansplaining. That's, that's all hat. We're going to do our own thing with the language. We can redefine the language the way we want and have some fun with it. So let's go with prog explaining or prog explaining, whichever you prefer. And in the interim, until I post another video, stand tall, stand firm, confront the resistance, and keep fighting.